Hey Booktube, it's Pete. These are my new digs. I'm in the city of Vlora, Albania. So if you've watched my other videos, you can see I have a different colored wall. I have a bunch of glare here. There's my new sofa. There, that clock is broken. I tried replacing the battery, so it's going to be 12 noon every day I post from here for the next three months. Here's the kitchen. Ta-da! Okay, that's enough. All right. I put up my my newbie tag yesterday by mistake. I was meant to schedule it for a different day, but it went up, and I was going to redo the thumbnail. Maybe I still will. So I'll try and make a quick one here instead, hopefully be more successful. That was a big bust. Big bust. Anyway, it's, it's too long, but it, you know, it seems like it would be cheating to redo it, to delete it and do a shorter one. So whatever, we'll just move on. So this is my April TBR. My, I'm going to cover my uh, events I'm going to be participating in, which means I got to go back to March because I didn't finish any of the March events. There were two events I was uh, doing in March. I was doing March of the Mammoths and no place like rome and for both of those i was doing the Ed, uh, gibbons decline and fall of the roman empire i finished volume one uh, there's five more volumes to go so i'll be starting volume two this month i'm continuing on with roger's cheap old book club Last month we read The 39 Steps. This coming month we're reading Captain Blood. I've got that, so I'm going to read that. Which also fits in with um, the adventure one. Did I write that one down? Oh, Spring into Adventure from Book Time with Elvis and, and Mystery and Madness and some other people. I probably shouldn't mention any of uh, the sponsors in the video because I know I'm going to forget half the sponsors, but I'll put all these in the notes, of course. I've got them all written down someplace. So for Roger's uh, Chibo Book Club and for Spring into Adventure, I'll read Captain Blood. I also, for Spring into Adventure, there's um, some specific prompts. I think they're reading King Kong, which I read ahead last month, the King Kong film novelization. They're reading She. I don't think I'm going to read She because I believe I don't even have it. I have so many old books on my Kindle, but I don't have H. Ryder Haggard, so I'm going to try and really stick to just stuff I already own. But for Spring into Adventure, I can also do the the uh, the Hanover books, the two books by the two sword sorcery books I'm reading. I'll do a review of those later, so I won't bother to talk about them much here. Another event I'm really excited about. Uh, I'll leave that for last. I am also doing the hundred book challenge. Read a hundred books before I buy any new ones. I've Looking here, I've done 10. Woohoo! Treasure Island, 39 steps. One, two, three, four books in the uh, Valentino Mystery Series by Lauren D. Estelman. I just finished Brazen, which is book number five. Uh, so I've read four of those as part of the challenge, the first one I read before. Now I'm reading uh, Indigo, which would be actually the 10th book in the challenge. I've already started it. And I'm also reading back and forth on Lord of a Shattered Land by Howard Andrew Jones and its sequel. Those are the sword and sorcery books I mentioned. Let me get back to my camera here because I was looking at my spreadsheet. And one more uh, event. People April, I believe it's called, where you read nonfiction about a person. I'm excited about this book because this is actually a book that I promised to read the very first thing when I started my channel because it's a book I've had on my Kindle for a long time and I thought, ah, I'm going to read this first. This will be the first one I review and of course that was two months ago and I never did it. It is this. It is called Adventures of an American Girl in Victorian London by Elizabeth L. Banks. It was written in 
1894. She was a journalist. This is her, she was a very young journalist. She went undercover. When, a little over a year ago, I arrived in London with a star-spangled banner in my pocket. She's an American girl, American, young American woman. I had no intention of remaining long enough to make an extensive to make any extensive experiments in the line of the newer journalism. I had only taken a run over to England to visit Westminster Abbey, St. Paul's, and the Tower, expecting them, expecting then to return home and write up my impressions of London and London, Londoners. Okay, then once she got there, uh, she decided to go undercover work as a domestic and keep a journal of what it was like to be a working class person in England at that time, in, at the end of the 19th century. And this is the book she wrote about that. She, she uh, was writing for the Weekly Sun uh, paper, and I'll have a review of that at some point. I'm looking forward to it. I think I'll really enjoy it. I don't think a lot of people have read it. Maybe I'm the only person who's going to read this book for the for People April. That would be kind of uh, unique, and maybe uh, if I like it, maybe other people will pick it up. All right, uh, I guess I'll quit here and don't drop heart of a don't drop dead of a heart attack by seeing a video for me under ten minutes. But I'm settling in here in this new beautiful town. And I'll try and be posting regularly. Thanks again, everyone. We'll see you next time.